The end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built... a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home. Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. Our bastion of hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> He saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me, by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh! Oh, you don't like this ending? Still hoping for something more... upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Though... I gotta admit, even after all this time, I, I keep asking myself, if I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? place was pure hell. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Where was it these days? I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I'd have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing the tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening few locks. Snowman was no beauty. It was all I had left.
The Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower, as if to say, if anyone is gonna blow, what a joke. Edward Snow it was up. The Edward it was Some punk had sprayed no. <laughs> the bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. There it lay in the snipper tower, shattered Elysium. <laughs> Talk about kitsch. Yeah. I guess that's it. The end of... <laughs> Frog in my throat. <laughs> the end of the road for me. Huh? Oh, typical. Even Armageddon is busted over. Just wait. Ugh! <laughs> 
old amorotic pin hat Act like the thing is not dead And didn't run into a brick wall And fulfilled already Let me help you fill that gap in memory Living in the waste was unto your taste But soon you will gaze too straight in the face And all rivers run eventually to the sea At the sage it's evident There will be no happy end Suck it up princess No one cares for your tears It's over and I've no dance to give For second thoughts that you're stuck with Looking for loopholes And wondering what if My friends were dead, and the Lysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I blew the pony out. <laughs> Talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? Ah, luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet Tony about it. Huh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about nuclear <laughs> I used that to build my rocket harpoon. Er, wait, that was only in my den. This is confusing. Bubble wrap from the post. What was I going to do with it again? Eh, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted. Eh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was dream. Eh, the fire. No wonder I. Sweet! The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. To Elysium! Huh? What now? Oh, damn! The stove is still out! How stupid of me. And I wanted to take Tony with me, too. That stuff is just for the last thing I need on my... True. The last thing I need... No, I've been... The next time I... These cryptic signs have been becoming, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. These cryptic, and for some reason... If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then what? Time to get to work. No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream! I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organ on conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. Don't look, otherwise it'll keep me from working for days, again. These visions aren't all bad. 
I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? Hey, stop! You can't park here. You. Oh boy, somehow my vision missed this. Hey, you there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more, but since you're here... Who are you, anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Strictly speaking, I'm actually not meant to be talking to you. At least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing towards no. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. Do you understand? No contact. What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that. It's... One minute. What did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked! Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about Ash Rain, Matt... Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I... After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize, but your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand. I said that I'm going... Yep, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million... Oh. Uh, okay. What's the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious. Uh... What are you doing there? I'm looking for time anomalies. Well, you found one. I don't want to brag, but I'm almost a singularity myself. My display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time split. It's like a... Well, my hair is... The quantum foam is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in... <laughs> you sound like my girlfriend, Tony. What happened to no contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred, but we can make it unoccur. Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... Turn back time. Say, the... Who are you, anyway? My name is McChronicle. I... You're a professor of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is... I'm researching anomalies in the fourth act... Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents. It saves an image of the space-time before I re... You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my... turning this crank here? No! Wait! Nina, Nina, let me... <laughs> What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rufus! Huh? What?
Wait a minute. I know you. You're Mr. McCromnickel. McCronicle. But that you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who... Astounding. Not half as astounding as... But while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon? No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, uh, great. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! Stop! You sure? I don't think I'm positioned quite right yet. Is there not a bit more room there? Still lots of room. You hardly moved. Then why are you... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's... Come on. Come on. Come on. What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. Huh? What? Oh no, not again! You hear that, Tuck? Never ever again. Uh, oh, who am I? Everything comes back eventually. Hi, Tuck. And a lovely day. So that last gnat's piss... It's always the last... Well, maybe you just don't know when it's time... Do you know then? Ha! Huh. I always thought it was when you feel things couldn't get any better. Uh, uh, yeah. Good luck with that, buddy. Believe me, it's always the last bottle of Nat's piss. What day is it today? <laughs> it is... Can't you hear the music? It is, of course. Barbecue Thursday. Barbecue Thursday? Which year? Oh, uh, everything okay with you? So-so. I met an Elysian, and it just to ultimately blow up. But Barbecue Thursday in Kuvak. That would mean none of that ever happened. The floating black market. That just can't be true. My fans are going to freak if they find out that my adventures never happened. Huh? What fans? Do you know anything about visions? You mean stuff like pink elephants? I always thought that was a bit of a dumb cliché. But there really is one of those about the place today. Yeah, anyone can do pink elephants. I saw the future. Nice for you. Not even close. It's gonna be terrible. Uh, oh, you're probably right. I'm dreading tomorrow morning. I saw the pink elephant, too. Really? Yep. It keeps distracting me every time I try to save Tony's glass. That means that I'm not a... Look, I wouldn't be jumping to any hasty conclusion. You should stop drinking. It's the start. Do you know where I can find Tony? She's in Lonzo's bar. Unbelievable that she managed to beat me at down in one. That means I have to go through the entire idiot parade. You got a barbecue Thursday, Hank? <laughs> I understand completely. Luckily, one doesn't get asked to square dance with... I have to prevent my vision of the future from becoming... Professional advice reliably helps against even the most stubborn futures. Will you help me scare the pink elephant off? It's gone already. I don't mean now, but... Earlier. You want me to help you chase away? <laughs> I got exactly the same problem with my wife Trudy. My strategy? <laughs> well, completely wrong. The trick, in fact, is to remember when time repeats it. Huh? How am I meant to remember something that hasn't even happened? 
Easy. You just have to, uh, yeah, yeah so, uh, I should probably ask McChronicle. You do that. I'll find a way to make... Uh-huh. I should probably ask Mc... You do... Stay vertical. Draw me a sketch. Well, did it work? No, you ran over the glasses again. Well, why didn't you shout stop? I, um, apropos, have you been drinking? Strictly speaking, lots, yes. But it doesn't mix with my medication. So it would appear. Yes, my reflexes are way below standard. Otherwise, the elephant would never have... Now, where's the stupid thing hiding? Wonder what he... Perhaps if time is right. Do we want to turn back? I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea to me. Are you sure you're well prepared? You realize everything that you've done since the... Right. Let's just wait a bit first. I hate repeating myself. need here is a suitable container. A compartment for paramechanical components. Power inverters, strengtheners, that kind of thing. A compartment for power inverters. What? Burnett has already closed up? Ah, oh, I wanted emergency flares in case my highly flammable gas balloon catches fire. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practice, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tetanus be with us! Hello, stranger. New in town? But Rufus, I attend the Barbecue Thursday Festival every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And your name is... Zoon, current grill champion from Sierra Benzoli. Sierra Benzoli? Well, I always thought that place only had three inhabitants. It, which doesn't mean that the title wasn't hotly contested. Fuego and Petro are also very skilled in handling methylated spirits. Shame that they weren't able to compete this year. Let me guess, an accident at work? Let's just say they should have made the shish kebabs with much more shish and a lot less kebab. Do you know how to catch an elephant? Of course. Why do you think I've got an elephant gun back there? I thought it was to show off. Uh that too, but elephant hunting is a great tradition for us. It goes back to the days when Hanagul and Hunagus both got the idea of riding over the Amalgal. I thought they were only looking for fillings for tusks. Which probably didn't make the meeting of their armies any less blood. <laughs> As you probably know, there's nothing more dangerous than an elephant with a toothache. There's an elephant in the area. <laughs> I'll only believe that when I... Well, he's very good at hiding. Not exactly typical for an elephant. You sure that you don't mean a wombat? Yeah, I think I would know the difference. Quite a few people think... And you end up having to collect them from the circus with wombat bites. Oh, poor Uncle Diego. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No! I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! <laughs> if you were a big game hunter, then you much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks! Or rats. A gun like this won't do for them. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. 
Can you build me a high-precision blowpipe? Depends. Are you a licensed big game hunter yet? Uh, yes. Then show me your license or take a hike. What's all this nonsense with the lights and the barbecues? It's what they call barbecue. Th I'm talking about you guys always turning off both whenever I get close. Oh, that's perfectly normal. Fire prevention measures. Don't worry about it. I wasn't planning on it. So, what's tasty today? What do you think? Barbecue Thursday is Groundhog Day. Wasn't Rampage Monday always Groundhog Day? No, Barbecue Thursday, I'm quite sure. Huh, well, I'll pass, just the same. I'm just not big on leftover plot idea. Uh, Groundhog. Well then, bye. Yeah. Hello, Zoon. Howdy, Roop. Oh, please. Then show me your life. Oh, come on. I said, I only love. There really isn't. You'd better let a profession. I am a. Perhaps in claiming to be something that you're not. But certainly not an elephant. Or do you happen to have a hunting. Dav! Only beginners need a stupid license. Exactly. Because. Well then. Bye. Yeah! Can I borrow your elephant? No! I only. I happen. Ha! Much too professional. A gun like you. Much more. Unfortunate. And blow. And be. What's going on? Why aren't you playing? We haven't learned that song off by heart yet. And without light, we can't see the music. Then why not play something you know by heart? Hmm. I think I... Our hit, Rudy's Dental Work, went wrong. <laughs> oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having to gaze at your mug all day. Hey! Do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? If he would just play with more feeling and less saliva, he could maybe relax during the breaks. Aw, oh, sick! Maybe this will turn out... That cursed tuber is still glowing hot. I'll have to cool it down somehow. Ow! Oh, get out of here! Damn, that won't work! Yeah. Same again! Wenzel? Is that you? I thought you were a jack-o'-lantern. Honest. Very, but great to see that you decided to join in with Barbecue Third. The hell I did. I'm just here to pick- Oh yes, the balloon. Have you really thought- I know. A week in a confined space, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be good for our relationship if I left the planet without it. You've split once before. If the plan fails again, you could break more than just the altimeter or the roof of the kindergarten. Don't worry, little man. This time, I've thought of everything. I didn't even bother to install an altimeter, for example. Tony trusts me, and rightly so. You'll see. Hey, Wenzel. You fit? So nice to see you again after all this time. But Rufus, we only saw each other yesterday. You wanted to borrow a step, but you ended up using my head instead. Hey, uh, you are always making fun of my... Well, you have to appreciate the little thing. You'll never believe all the stuff that's happened. Hmm, let me guess. You tried to get to Elysium, but you... Beep. Wrong. I had a vision of the future. Then... I ran into this scruffy McMuffin, and now I'm being terrorized by a pink elephant. <laughs> but perhaps we shouldn't dismiss the head bump theory? I see you took the job in the cesspit. Well done. A man should always know his place. Huh. The wastewater vat, the smell, your general disposition. I just put two and two together. That's not wastewater. The vat is part of the jolly game of rotten fruit. A game with centuries of... Could have at least changed the water. Rotten fruit game? That doesn't sound jolly at all. More like someone should maybe take a thick book with them when they take a dump. It's quite simple. Each player tries to place three or four of their fruit type in one row. Without gloves, you get boils from just watching. Rats are the bigger problem. Those critters are just mad for rotten fruit. Ugh. Why would it? Because 
the winner will receive an almost brand new small game. That's why the game is only, mm, well, and because every participant. Yeah, and a round of infectious. Well then, do you have someone to play against? Me, me. Yes, exactly. What about the rat boy? He's not allowed to play. Huh? Why not? Because he's still too young. Why can't the rat boy? Because he's said the guard. I have to be go. My coat. Hello. That's not my name. My name is Leonardo Alfonso Miguel Garcia. De yeah, yeah, yeah. Rat boy works. No one can remember all that no nonsense. My name has won prizes. Rat, 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 rat. He's the rat. Oh. Why is everyone no. <laughs> Aren't you allowed to if, if if you mean the rotten fruit cane, I'd love to, but I'm still too young. That's right, Rufus. The rotten fruit game can only be played. Did I step in a cricket nest or something? I keep hearing this chirruping from somewhere around my ankle. Ah, the poor little My parents say that sleek slip <gasps> so pretty. Huh, the last at a barbecue Thursday celebration near you for the last 20 years. Shit, if this keeps up, humanity will die out before the bees. The barbecues go out whenever I get close. <gasps> I'm even cooler than I thought. <laughs>